Merry New Year! It's January 1st, 2010. My first video of the new year. Car 3D on the tube. I hope you're doing well. Oh, hey, look at that. It's my character guy. I want to show you a little bit of information about Rotate Skeletons. Rotate Skeletons is part of Lightwave proper. And uh, here is a Skeleton. And uh, in case you don't know, here's just a, a brief overview of what Rotate Skeletons does. It lets you tweak your weight maps and see how they will react with bones. Skeletons are not bones yet, but they are potential bones. And you can rotate them to see how they will move as you paint your weight maps. So let's uh, choose a Rotate Skeletons. And I don't know if you can see this, I can click on the P here and rotate it on the pitch. So, I have a weight map for the jaw I'm fairly happy with, which is good. And now, um, I also went in and used a third-party plugin called Combine Weight Maps. And uh, this is a very good plugin. It's free. You can basically use it to subtract, take everything I did for my jaw, and then I create another weight map that just, I just paint everything red, everything 100%, and then combine weight maps will let me subtract what I did to the jaw from the purely red, and uh, the result is this, just the opposite. So this way, uh, you know, everything is equal. So if, if I have like 50% uh, on this point, it'll be 50% on the other one, or if I have 10% over here, it'll be 90% on the other. So uh, anyway, aside from that, we have our Skeleton. I'm happy with what happens when I rotate it. So let's say I'm going to save this and bring this into layout. OK, here we are in layout. I've done a little work between the edits here. Uh, as you can see, the Skeleton was converted to a bone. And when I click on it, hit the properties, you can see I have the jaw weight map applied to it. And after that, I went in and added a couple of bones going up his neck and up his head. And each one of those has the body weight map. You can see right here, body, body. Uh, all those have the same weight map attached to it. So it's just like I had in, in Modeler. There was the jaw was isolated. Everything else was for the body. And, uh, of course, uh, let me uh, state right here that there is no right and wrong way to rig. There's all sorts of different ways you can approach this. This is just one way that I use that I like to uh, predominantly have one weight map covering the entire body except for a couple of isolated items that I want to pull out, like the jaw or the thighs, uh, but, uh, you know, fingers. But anyway, let's move along. So. Everything is converted. I got the white maps applied to the bones. So everything should be really cool by now, right? Let's find out. Let's rotate this bone. Oh my goodness, this isn't good. This isn't what I paid for. What is happening? Well, it's because the bone behavior of Skeletons is not the same as bone behavior inside of layout. The bone behavior in using Rotate Skeletons simply takes the rotation of the the home point of your bone and then multiplies it by whatever the weight map strength is so it's pretty quick and dirty in layout you have bones playing off of each other so based on their distance the, the length if you look over here multiply strength by rest length is the default setting which is is a fine setting to have indeed I leave that on uh, so when these bones are all playing against each other and they're all in different places you get different results you may be thinking to yourself well this isn't good how can I get the results that I saw in Modeler I want that in layout well you can because you subscribe to this channel I'm gonna tell you the secret I'm gonna go into my scene editor and let's see what we got okay here's the hierarchy it's pretty simple I got the body body the neck head and the jaw. Okay, so what we can do to 
make the movements in layout mirror what we saw in modeler is to uh, I'll just do it and I'll show you I'm going to take my jawbone and duplicate it and I'm going to call this jaw head support okay you can't see the differences between the two because they're right on top of each other but with jaw head support highlighted I'm going to change the weight map for this one to the body and oh I'm also going to hide and lock that bone so that uh, we can never have to look at it again now when I pick this bone, the jaw bone not the new bone, but the jaw, the original jaw bone, and rotate it. Look at that, it's exactly what we wanted. And that's because there are now two bones in the exact same place. They have equal pull on the points. So now when you have the two weight maps with exactly proportional weight balances, thanks to that plug-in, combined weight maps, and the two bones in exactly the same place, they all have completely balanced and equal pull on the points. So now you get bone deformation exactly the way you saw inside of Modeler. So this concludes this tutorial. Enjoy and I'll see you next time.